All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Golf Balling YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jackson. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Mr. Golf Balling, by the way. I want to do these, I want to start doing these round by round recaps. But right now at the RSM Classic, you have Taylor Gooch, who has a three stroke lead above Seamus Power and Sebastian Munoz right now. Five of the last six winners at the RSM Classic were leading after 54 holes and the reason this is so cool is because taylor gooch has never won on the pga tour and i just read a story uh, earlier today actually about how in 2016 when he was fighting for status he was trying to go through like q school he was just fighting to play professional golf only five years ago he was contemplating working at best buy contemplated working for the geek squad said it was a really tough time and now well actually in between there he made the web.com tour got a win on the web.com tour this year he has two top fives he has a couple of top 11s taylor gooch is cementing himself right now as an up-and-comer on the pga tour so for me i would really love to see taylor gooch get this win and i think it's you know we're at that point right now in the golf season where there's not much i mean we have the match the day after thanksgiving which should be fun i'm i'm looking forward to that but for the most part you have you know pretty low purse tournaments right now it's definitely the dead season a lot of the top dogs take a lot of time off right now and so that's what makes these tournaments fun is when you actually learn more about the players and i think that's something that the pga tour needs to start doing more of it's something that they've actually done a fairly good job at recently for guys who have been winning or guys who have been close to winning i feel like they should still do more of these like in-depth you know right before like interviews right before you actually made it like what was so cool about hearing taylor gooch's story is hearing what he had to say about when he was in that time period where he was his golf game was struggling and he didn't know what was next it, it's cool to hear from the about like those types of stories from guys who aren't in first as well but that's part of the reason why these tournaments are so great is it, it really highlights it starts to highlight the stories and the storylines behind these players because a lot of these players they're not big names they're not in the top 15 in the world they're not top 30 in the world so i'm rooting for taylor gooch it was a cold day today I know he's from Oklahoma. He went to Oklahoma City or Oklahoma State University. It was cold today. It was cold and windy. And I think hopefully his game continues to carry over. I don't know the forecast for Sunday's round, but hopefully if you have another gloomy, windy, cold day, I think that makes Taylor Gooch's chances even more likely. So be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That is your round three recap. Uh, for the rsm classic but be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button drop a comment down below if you would like to start seeing these after each round during the golf tournament so that's it i'll see you guys later